Hi, I'm Bob Toronto, and we're here at the studios of Yale University in beautiful downtown New Haven. And we have a very special guest today, Dr. David Katz. Dr. Katz is the founding director of Yale University Prevention Research Center, and he's the president of the American College of Lifestyle Medicine, and also the chief medical officer of the Community Pain Center. Welcome, right. Dr. Katz. Thanks, Bob. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? So actually my training, Bob, was first in internal medicine. So very conventional. Um, my dad's a cardiologist. And, you know, growing up, I, I was a good student, and I, I guess I wasn't all that creative. You know, you, you sort of had that traditional short list of career options, doctor, lawyer, Indian chief. Right. I lacked <laughs> the bloodline for one of the three. I was down to two choices, and I thought about law school. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I was a beneficiary of good clinical care many times as a kid because I had lots of injuries. So I had orthopedists put me back together a number of times, and I, I listened to my dad's conversations when he was on call, and I just found it all so intriguing. I thought, well, that's a great way to give back. You know, I mean, it's challenging, it's potentially prestigious, mm -hmm. uh, lifelong learning, I loved all that. So I went to medical school, and then I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Uh, was intrigued by almost every option, and internal medicine is, is really the broadest in, in many ways. And that's, that's where you take care of adults, whatever is mm -hmm. wrong with them. So I, I went into internal medicine residency training. That's three years. And it was really then that my thinking about what medicine ought to be started to take hold of me. And I, I think you know, if I've got a native tendency, uh, you know, a lot of people can't see the forest for the trees, right? Mm -hmm. I'm the guy who may overlook some trees, but I always see the forest. <laughs> so, so there I was in the hospital 100 hours a week or more dur during my training, and, and I realized, you know, first that a lot of these people never needed to get this sick in the first place, and, and I, I wanted to do something about that. And I also realized that, that we were hopelessly ineffective in getting all of them better, and I wanted to do more about that. So I went on and I did a second residency in preventive medicine public health. And my career has been shaped by that ever since. In terms of my research, and, and really I've devoted more of my career to research even than clinical care, the focus has been on preventing chronic diseases, heart disease, cancer, stroke, diabetes, dementia, arthritis, obesity. Frankly, you know, all of the common things that take years from life and life from years and that actually contribute an awful lot to chronic pain as well. And then clinically, I gravitated toward integrative medicine because I, I was doing internal medicine. Uh, and I wanted to use lifestyle more. I, I wanted to use the power of good nutrition and the power of exercise and the power of good sleep. And integrative medicine really is a way of combining conventional medical practices with what we tend to think of as less conventional, lifestyle interventions, herbs and, and nutraceuticals, mind-body uh, interventions to alleviate stress and anxiety, uh, a focus on improving sleep. Really, when, when, you're, when you're thinking that holistically and using a wide array of treatment modalities, you're doing integrative care. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't really that I ever particularly wanted to do integrative care. I just wanted to do good care. And I, I'm conventionally trained, but you don't get everybody better if you just do what the textbooks tell you. And I thought, well, you know, then I need to be more creative than that. And I learned a lot over the years from colleagues who thought about medical treatments a bit differently, naturopaths, for example, who also go to four years of medical school, but, you know, while we're in the hospital taking care of, of people with desperate illnesses, they're learning about herbal medicines and nutrients and lifestyle and chiropractic and massage and those kinds of things, mm -hmm. acupuncture. So I started interacting with, with knowledgeable, thoughtful colleagues who were doing that, learned a lot. And I thought, well, we're more powerful together. We can get more people better working together. And that then became the model of the Integrative Medicine Center at Griffin Hospital, which I founded with colleagues in 2000 and have run for the past 15 years. Uh, and so I'm an integrative medicine practitioner, but you know, not, not ever because that's what I want it to be. What I want, and, and I think ultimately the terminology really should go away. What we all want is, is good care. And the only way to provide really good care is to think about people holistically and to look across a wide spectrum of treatment options so that you can essentially, and, and th this is true for both the doctor and the patient, so you can go shopping for 
the best fit for you. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, what's best for you or best for me is what's best for you and me. And it may not be what's best for anybody else. It's, it, you know, it really ought to be customized. And it's one of the things I love about the Community Pain Center, because that's really what we're creating online, is that portal into a world of options so that we really can help direct people to what's going to work best for them. Mm -hmm. Dr. Katz, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you, Bob. And please check this site routinely. We'll be doing more information and more empowering interviews. Thanks very much.